Oh, I certainly can tell you guys, this game is very different than what I expected it to be. I thought it was going to be a pure sports game. This is seriously like an RPG. All right, here we go. It's so dark here and damp and spooky. Basically, you're run-of-the-mill dark, damp, spooky forest. There's no place for a city toad like me. Oh no, Mario, we've accidentally wandered into Piranha Plant territory. You better watch out for their fireballs and defeat the Piranha Plants quickly. Come on! Come on. All right. Defeat 30 Piranha Plants within the time limit. I gotta hit the fireballs back. Ow! It's so weird. Now oh, people are saying that my camera now is blocking. I don't know where to put the camera in this game. I don't know where to put it where it's not going to interfere with anything. Maybe here? Try here? I don't know. Where to put it? You can leave the story mode, okay. Try again.
four more. Perfect block. Perfect block. I did it. Nice. I learned the timing for the block. Black Mage C Type Charity said Mario Tennis is developed by Camelot Software, a company who primarily makes RPGs like Shining Force and Golden Sun, so it has RPG elements and great stream, by the way. Thank you very much, Black Mage C Type. Alright. It makes sense. It's, it pretty much plays exactly like an RPG. <laughs> You're amazing, Mario. Now onward. We got two ways to go. Forest Edge? What's the other way? Ancient altar. Let's go to the forest edge. It's a dead end. A spike. Oh, look. What are you doing out here in the middle of the forest, buddy? Isn't it obvious? I'm using the wood from the fallen tree to make a racket. The wood here is top of the line, ideal for tennis rackets. If you agree to help me improve my defense, I'll give you one of these gorgeous rackets as thanks. Ah. Turn any balls of piranha plants shoot to areas of the court I can't possibly reach. By the way, thank you, Tana Mounter, for 150 bit cheer. Appreciate that. If you can't return the ball or you send back a shot, I managed to return you. It'll count as a miss. This isn't charity. Hit 20 shots past me with fewer than three misses. All that for a plain wooden racket? That's nutty. Still considering all the matches ahead of us, the more rackets we can gather, the better. Do your best, Mario. All right. Get 20 shots past your opponent with two of the three misses. Super shot. Yeah, the lob is perfect. It was over his head. Yeah, see, it goes over his head. He can't hit it. Damn, the super shots are owning me. Leveled up. A little bit more shot speed. So let's see what racket we earned. You did it, Mario. You're truly stupendous with a racket. You know that, right? I have a feeling you can handle the job, Mario. As promised, here's the wooden racket I made. You're welcome. Did I mean to show it to me? When you acquire a new racket, the number of rackets you can use in adventure mode will increase. Rackets with high attack will inflict a lot of damage on your opponent's racket. Rackets with high defense take less damage when attacked, and durability can endure more damage before breaking. If your racket breaks, a new one will automatically be selected for you from your racket collection in status, starting from the left. You can change the order in which you use your rackets from the Change Rackets menu. If your last racket breaks, you may need to acquire new rackets to raise your level to progress. 
New view rackets can collect it by raising plus or minus. To open the menu and select status. Oh yeah, the wooden rack is way better, look. Okay. Wooden rack has way had bigger stats. <clears throat> Alright, very nice. <clears throat> Alright, it's time to continue. Ancient altar. Yes. <laughs> 